As conclusion for this part, what is a scalable security? You can choose the level of security you want to achieve on what you want to use, depending on the time constraint, the cost, on your knowledge. You can use directly all those basic blocks like product state, debug authentication, HTTP and OBKey to build your own security if you want. If you want to have a solution that is pre-certified, you can at least use STIROT for a first stage bootloader, which is PSA and CZIP level 3. If you want to use an open source one, we provided it also, which is named OMIROT. But if you need to go for a certification, you will be responsible for this one. Then if you need two-stage bootloader or secure services, you can go up to the Secure Manager, a full integrated solution that is handled by ST for you. Or you can go to the open source solution with OM, UROT and GFM. It's up to you to do this choice depending on your needs. So with the STM32H5, we got new security mechanism, so new temporal isolation, the secure storage, the new product state, the debug authentication. We've got an embedded secure boot with secure firmware update capability, a ROM one that you can just activate it thanks an option byte. We've got a lot of code example on possibility to be configured thanks to QBMX. So all those features allow to achieve a CZIP PSR level 3 certification. That means we are resistant to board level attack. So you can select and build your own security adapted to your needs. Regarding the resources, you still have the wiki page, but I also would like to point on the STM32 online training where there is a really nice video about the security features. Thanks for your attention.